Hey, fella. What do you do when you see a dog? Pet it or kick it away? I'd kill it because the dog's rabid. Right you are. You're a new one, huh? Come with us. Just take me to your boss. Are you and what the drop do you want? Let's be quick about it, kid. I don't have the whole damn day. Let's just say I'm a private detective and leave it at that. <laughs> Cocky, ain't you? So be it, kid. I have a pretty good idea who you might be. You were working for Throgmorton, right? So, what do you want? I want to smuggle a man out of the city. Yeah, a lot of people want to leave Oakmont, kid. Few ever succeed. It won't be easy. And, like everything in life that's worthwhile, it won't be cheap. So, what's it gonna cost me? Normally, I wouldn't do Drock for a newcomer. But you're doing business with that old ape lover, Throgmorton. I think that's interesting. That tells me you're worth something, kid. Now, I have a job needs doing, but it needs to stay between the two of us. I'm fine with doing a job for you, but is this gonna be on the up and up? I've got a reputation to think about. If you're here, kid, then I can't imagine you have a boatload of options. Don't wanna do the job for me? Then get lost. And be glad you're still breathing. <sighs> Guess I have no choice. So, what do I need to do? First things first. My name's Brutus Carpenter. Rightful head of the Carpenter family. Second thing. Someone tried to kill me a week ago. Oh, you're not asking me to track them down and kill them, are you? No, kid. I've got hatchet men if I need them. And I don't want to kill him anyway. I just want to know who was gunning for me and why. Yeah, I know how it sounds. But after I almost died, I realized that being a hard case isn't the only option. I want to try to do things differently. All right, color me interested. How did this all happen? I woke up in the crematorium inside a rolled-up carpet. I had this tag on my toe like some cadaver. And I was covered in this weird rancid slime. I managed to get myself out of there. But what I saw once I got home... made me think I had a screw loose. And? What did you see? Me, kid. Some palooka wearing my face and walking out my front door like all was well with the world. So I decided to get out and hole up here. Gathered a small company and pulled myself together. What was your last memory before the crematorium? I can remember clearly a dinner I had a week before the incident. After that, yeah, only bits and pieces. I remember writing something in my diary. I don't recall what, except it was important. Those notes could tell us how it all started. And I suppose that diary is still in your manner. Exactly, kid. In a strong box in my room. You have my permission to crack it if it's necessary. I'll write you the address. Any thoughts on who'd want to do this to you? 
Uh, it must be someone close to me, so I can't trust anyone. I haven't even contacted my son Graham. Normally I'd get him to solve this. Uh, I'm vulnerable now. I can't risk exposing myself. Another good reason to bring in an independent contractor. So where would I find the city's crematorium? Ah, uh, of course you don't know. You're a newcomer after all. Here's the address. You must have tried to do something about this imposter already. Of course I did, kid. I wouldn't be asking for your help if this was just a walk in the park. My people said they killed that other me. It didn't change a thing. I guess they got the wrong guy. I got it. It appears you're quite capable of standing without aid. So why the wheelchair? Does your curiosity always beat out your courtesy? I'll tell you if it makes you happy. I'm old. Some days I feel tired. This wheelchair, unlike many people, has never crossed me. So I know I can count on it if I need to. You mentioned your son, Graham. Can you tell me more about him? Graham? Why would you care? He has nothing to do with this. You sound pretty sure about that. Of course. Graham is too honest. And since the end of the war, he turned into a real bleeding heart. It's become a bit of a headache, actually. Of course, we've had our differences. Especially about the family business, but he would never hurt a fly. Let alone me. Goodbye. I'd have broken all your bones, fella, if Papa Brute hadn't put you off limits. No need for violence. Like it here, newcomer? Well, get used to I it. I can't imagine it ending. No one leaves over miles of this blood. Yeah, top marks for quantity, but so much for quality. Even my gear's in better shape. A little blackmail, a little larceny, a worthwhile scrap or two, just like the old days. Whoa, what gives? This garbage. Papa Brute will be here any minute. The blood dried not too long ago.
Hey, hey you. No loitering. Only workers are permitted on the premises. You're handing out supplies for free. That seems awful charitable. Mr. Carpenter is a pillar of our community. Generously donating half of our supplies to the people of Oakmont in their time of need. I could use some supplies, if you can spare them, that is. Here, take some medicine. Thanks. You're welcome. I'm looking for work. I heard you might have a job. Sure. There's a sack of potatoes in the basement of the manor. Go get it. Bring it here, okay? Got it. Get a move on, then. Bye. So, where are the potatoes? Please, friends, don't take away my food. Your food? This is stolen. This sack was meant to go to the hungry. We are the hungry, mister. Me and my family. I have five children to feed and nothing to feed them with. And look, we'll starve to death without it. Have a heart. I don't get it. You can have food for free. The carpenters are distributing it. So why steal? They'd only give me one portion, even though I told them that my wife and kids are too weak to get here. Don't worry, I... I get it. Look, uh, hang on to the sack for now. I'll try to work something out for you, okay? Oh, oh thank you, mister. K bless you. You're a lifesaver. Just don't go anywhere. I'll be back soon. 
I pray that Kay grants me one more day. There's a, a minor issue. What? W what issue? Well, the sack was stolen by one of your workers. I tracked him down so he's not going anywhere, but I'm trying to decide what to do with him. Damn thieves, may I take them? I'm sure your boss would want to know about it, but I can see you're pretty busy. Tell you what, I'll go talk to him for you. Uh, you're right. I'm needed here. Vera, go see Mr. Graham Carpenter and report the incident. He's upstairs. Get these for staying in your foxhole. Mr. Carpenter? Yes, Graham Carpenter. How can I help? One of your workers is a thief. Stole a sack of potatoes. Oh. I do hope my people haven't taken it into their own hands. Not yet. It's... Is there a way to solve this peacefully? The guy has a hungry family. That's why he stole. I won't punish a man for trying to feed his family. Why didn't he simply ask me for more food? Tell him he can keep what he stole. If he needs more, let him come back. It may be that he'll need medicine, too. Can you give him this? It's not much, but it'll help. No offense, but why such generosity all of a sudden? I mean, this distribution of supplies. I hope to set an example for the other influential families of Oakmont. Together we can make our city a better place. Besides, after the incident with the poisoned fish, people were left with nothing to eat. I had to take action to prevent starvation. Thank you. I thought Brutus was the head of the Carpenter family. Something changed? Oh, uh, no, not at all. My father's still in charge. I've simply taken on some of his responsibilities. He's past his prime and needs more rest. A mask? Why do you wear it? A war wound. I prefer not to discuss it, if you don't mind. Goodbye. You don't get these for staying in your foxhole. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Hmm. I've seen this face before. Paris, December 1918. Right after the guns stopped firing.
Huh. Now, weren't you the one who called Robert an ape lover, Brutus? Brutus Carpenter, I presume. Yes, that's right. Did you bring me something to eat? I'm very hungry. Um, no, sorry. Ah, well move on then. Bye. This has been empty for years. <laughs> Seems someone believes eternal life comes in a bottle.